welcome back so in the last lectures we have seen how to create a queries to retrieve the data from graphql right so in this um, lecture let's see how to create data in the through graphql okay so here we don't create inside the graphql but we send instructions so that graphql go and create data in the respective backend systems okay now for that again let's go to the documentation of graphql schema so instead of query select mutation and here you go so you have lot of types available to create character to create location or to delete them or create episode all create delete edits that means the changes if you want to make in the backend systems through graphql that also possible through mutations so it's straight forward guys just like how you written query the only difference here is um so instead of query you start like this calling mutation that's all so once you set up a mutation now let's say you want to first start with creating one location okay so create location this is our uh, type name and here if you observe carefully now here you need to send details to save in the backend right so previously if you want to get location details you would just need to send id here so you got all the details but now it is your duty to create so that means all the details what you need for creating location everything you need to pass isn't it so how to pass so that information also here only so they were saying that whatever information you want to pass in mutations you do it through arguments okay so any information it could be anything now for delete also you need to send information right to which one to delete to create what all attributes you want to create location everything the details the payload what you want to send to create should be sent as an argument so if you see this it's clearly given that create location is a type okay and location create now they are expecting like this location is one argument and so here where you need to send all the details but how you how you will create a location it's just not like uh, you send like this right location united states you cannot create one like this why because this location data type is not string see here location id is integer fine in this case you can give some number but here again it's another type so just like previously click on this and here you go name type dimension these are the three fields it is expecting as it is multiple we will write in curly braces okay so now if you send these three fields with these three fields one location will be created in the backend okay and all the three are mandatory fields see the exclamatory is there now first field is name and name it's a string so uh, let's call it as uh, australia that is one um field and next field type what kind of uh, type it is it's in the south right let's call it as a south zone and finally dimension dimension you it's a string again so anything you can give like number 234 like that let's consider this as a dimension okay so i'm just minimizing screen so that it can fit everything so now these are the details it is expecting right so good create location is a type and location is an argument we started like this and this expects to give three fields we gave so with these three details now location will be created okay so what it will return back once the location is created you can see that what it exactly returns you back when you click on here it says oh, it will give you id so that means it gives you unique id after creating this location right so now go to inside this type and when you go inside this uh, type this is the field it returns back you know how to handle fields right now if you go back to queries these are the fields these are the arguments isn't it so if you want to retrieve the field what will you do you will simply open curly braces for the type and you ask like this that's it right now let me go to documentation here just to recap now for character now you call this type and you gave the arguments and finally you went inside this and what fields you are want to get back those fields used to pass similarly now 
a mutation it's just not only for creating you can also get back the values it's a hybrid okay so don't think that i can only create location but i cannot retrieve anything if that mutation have a scope of retrieving that also you can do in terms of fields now create location is a mutation right now go inside it these are the fields id is a field so what id once you store it in the back end for this location one id will be generated that id you can ask back because you ultimately you need that right once you create a location you want to know what is that location id for further use isn't it so you can ask like this so id will be retrieved so whatever you ask in the fields here those only will be retrieved okay now let's see uh, with these details i'll hit on submit perfect you see create location id 15 is retrieved it will not tell you details about uh, i am going to create it in the back end it will do all the work but once it is done a unique id generated for the result of your data and that is sent back as 15 so here it's a combination you are retrieving and also creating so if you want to create like that you have to use mutation so again if you remember rest api calls for location create you will use one api call and for uh, episode creation one api call and for character creation one api call okay it's because three different domains everything we can do in one single mutation query using graphql now let's start with character create um, character right so uh, character is this one it's asking one argument again you have to send all the details required to create character and again this is not a scalar data type to directly provide so you have to go inside and all these details you have to send okay so let's do that very quick um name so let's call the name as robin fine and uh, type so he's a macho type some details randomly you can provide status see the basically if it's mandatory just blindly go and um, give it let's say he's still or let's call him a dead this character is no more there and species it's a human species yes or you can call us fantasy i mean we created one fantasy species which does not exist now right so similarly just go ahead and uh, write all the gender all those things uh, i would uh, quickly write it here let's call it as uh, male what else we have image image basically you can send the path to upload but right now uh, i don't think my server is supporting uh, multimedia files so just say some image string name like this doesn't matter origin id this is important guys this last one is important now all these are scalar data types fine even this one also scalar data type but it is asking the locations id so basically when you are saving the character you want to tell where that character is living so that should be characters location id okay so you need to take one id now you have one location here right australia south zone and that location id is 15 maybe you can tie up that location to this guy so that means this character is lying in that location okay so i hope we have given all fields right um so now what it is returning now once you create a character you need to get back that character id right the character id which got created let's see what it is returning um, create character go inside it's just returning id again okay so looks like uh, there is some error here can you guys identify it let's see int was not provided location id interesting let's see um, create character right is there any other thing we missed here where is this one Oh, it's location ID. Okay, not origin. It's location ID is what we have to give. Character's current location ID. Origin also can be same. Actually, both you can uh, use same here. Um, I will create one more and uh, 
let's call it as an origin id so that's the beauty of this explorer if you make any error it's clearly telling where exactly things are going wrong looks good now if you hit this query again there it will try to create one more location with the same details so right now my uh, graphql is allowing duplicates so that means even if the location is already existing it will create one more entry for you okay so let's submit perfect you see um, it created another location that is 16 and this time it created a new character also for you which is called 14 now let's go back to the query here and see if that character is coming back or not okay character id 8 is what we have given previously right now let's give 14 because we stored in the database so for this 14 robin macho dead all these things should come so i have stored in query variables everything looks good let me submit this perfect you see robin mail and dead um we are not getting a uh, type because we didn't ask uh, so if you want to add that just ask what you need and it will give you back saying type match perfect so this is how you make sure that your mutation is perfectly working to save the data in the back end so similarly for location id also uh, maybe you can try out here it is 8 right uh, the one what it created it is 16 so now if you ask it will give it the australian 234 which is just created so like this you can create your own set of data and you can make a queries to see if you are able to retrieve it fine so finally one more thing is there uh, let's do that as well and then we'll see how to do it in postman um character we did location we did let me also show um creating episode actually i want this as an assignment for you i will pause this video like you guys pause this video for uh, five ten minutes go back and create uh, one mutation for creating episode okay it's straightforward guys directly come to this url rahulshettyacademy.com slash graphql slash gq slash graphql and then give hit mutation you need not set up anything in your system right it's just a five minutes try to write one simple mutation to create one episode in my backend systems and retrieve it okay so pause this video for 10 minutes and then i'll show you okay i hope you did it so i'm just copy pasting the the same information because by now we already know how to do that but let's cross check whether what we did here is correct or not um go to mutation cross compare that if you have created create episode correct and episode colon correct and episode create and uh, that expects a multiple fields so we created curly braces name air date and episode let's say this is streaming in netflix raw and rust and i would call it as uh, some rustic i don't know what exactly this is but rustic agent and let's say it played in 1990 some uh, past decades okay so this is how you can uh, create a new episode and obviously this episode also uh, will return back you what id and which you can get it here okay so quick hit and that will tell you the episode id which is 11 and just come here put 11 and submit and you see the episode where it is okay rustic agent 1990 perfect it got saved now you can also delete also simple let's take this delete locations right um this one create delete everything you can do on one single go uh, delete locations and what it is expecting argument um, location ids here important you have in square brackets that means it is expecting an array of numbers so that means you can delete multiple ids you just need to give those ids here okay so this represents a collection of values one value you can give or four or five values you can give now you need to provide the id which you want to delete so you just created one location called 17 right you want to delete it put 17 here fine and then um again it might ask some field to return go back and see okay it will tell total how many locations are deleted so just give this field here locations deleted 
so it will tell you that uh, what locations are deleted so the moment you see square bracket that means it allows multiple values so that's why it representing in the square and here it is not representing that means you can pass only one number here now let's say you want to pass uh, 14 also right that means two locations you are asking to delete it's straightforward right by looking at this you can write your mutation simply it's an array of numbers which you provided this is an attribute and this is the field it is returning so you are forced to write that and just submit and see what will happen perfect you see it is saying two locations are deleted 17 14 does not exist now it, it tells you total how many locations are deleted right now let's check uh, location id 17 um where did we write it okay here it is so if i try to hit with 17 you see location is coming as a null and all the errors it consolidated on the top saying that item does not exist because you just deleted it okay so this is how you can play around with the deletion concept also and all the things you can wrap it up in one single mutation call so that's about creating updating and deleting the data through graphql and this is about retrieving the data from graphql ql okay this is a perfect example the practice a practical example what i took this is really from the one real time project so this is enough for you to play around so in the next lecture let's quickly do it in the postman and see how it works there and then we will see how to do it in uh, other automation tools as well thank you